Today we are going to ask one of the most ancient questions plaguing mankind since the very beginning. What do movies and breakfast cereals have in common? That's right, absolutely nothing. However, over the years there have been many cases of movies transcending into cereal brands, creating a strange phenomena of movie-based cereals for kids to start their day with. From Star Wars to Batman, it seems that many movies have been given the sugar-coated treatment and turned into a square meal. So today we are going to explore some of the strangest cases of movie-based cereals. Let's check it out. Number 10, C-3PO's. Ah, well, may as well start this list off with what is probably the most well-known and most famous movie serial tie-in, the ever-famous C-3PO serial. This serial has always baffled me, to be honest, because, okay, I get it, in the late 70s, Star Wars merchandising was everywhere. But out of all the Star Wars characters, why C-3PO? Not that I'm complaining or anything, it just seems like a weird choice to use that particular character as the serial's mascot. I mean, why not have a box of Darth Vader or a box of Luke Skywalker? I mean, why not base the serial off one of the most popular characters rather than the moaning android? I mean, I would totally eat a bowl of Han Solo or a bowl of Princess Leia before I would C-3PO. Still, at least the cereal came with a free Star Wars mask, and I guess you can't go wrong with a mask because everyone loves a mask. Number 9, Mr. T's Crispy Sweet. Oh yeah, look out people who skip meals. Mr. T pities the fool who doesn't have breakfast. Hence, Mr. T got his own cereal brand. Yeah, a look at that early morning goodness. I bet eating this will make you just as strong and just as tough as Mr. T. So you too can be a badass with a heap of jewelry and a mohawk. Oh, <laughs> I also love how the cereal itself is in the shape of a T to remind all those eating it that you are eating with the power and wisdom of the T. Mr. T. Number eight. Ghostbusters Crunchin' Bustin'. You know, it's really weird that when Ghostbusters came out, despite the fact that it was a massive hit with the kids, there was hardly any Ghostbusters merchandising. Nope. No figurines, no toy proton packs, nothing. Ghostbusters did, however, get its own cereal. And I love how the cereal itself is shaped after the Ghostbusters logo. It makes it more fun, and makes more sense than the T-shaped Mr. T cereal. However, the box proudly declares that the cereal contains marshmallow ghosts. Um, well, okay, that's weird. I mean, Ghostbusters made me want to catch ghosts, it didn't exactly make me want to eat them. And the box offers a free ghost flyer. Wait, what the hell is a ghost flyer? What, they mean frisbee? Well, why not just say ghost frisbee? Either way, unless you don't want to be like Walter Peck and have no dick, I suggest that this is the cereal that you should start eating. Number 7, E.T. Cereal. Just like Star Wars, it was only a matter of time till everyone's favourite alien from the 80s got his own cereal. So henceforth, the E.T. Cereal. And I got to admit, I actually like the cover artwork on this box. I love how E.T. is drawn and the blue night sky background. This time the cereal is shaped after the letters E and T, no doubt prompting annoying kids from the 80s to play with their food and repeatedly spell out the word E.T. on the dining table. Oh well. 
The E.T. serial doesn't offer any free toy or anything, but rather the chance to win a copy of the Michael Jackson E.T. storybook. Yep, that's your reward for being loyal to E.T. You just get a chance to win something. Oh, come on, guys! Really? I mean, is it really that hard to put a small toy in there? Or at least some stickers or some shit? I don't know, it just doesn't seem fair. Oh, great, and my phone is ringing. Hello? Yes, I just wanted to say that I hate your accent. Why don't you shut up with your stupid, annoying, poo-poo voice? What the hell do you want? Can't you see I'm making a video here? And the other day, I noticed at least two spelling mistakes in one of your videos, and you mispronounced a few words. Why are you trying to ruin my day? I hate you! Um, okay. You finished now? Can I get back to my video now that you've let it all out? No! I hate your voice! It's annoying! I hate you! Then that's simple. Just don't watch my videos then, you tard. No! I have to! Because you suck! And you sound too Australian! And you're annoying! And I hate you! I hate you! <laughs> okay then, today's mental breakdown was brought to you by that guy! Number 6. Batman Returns Serial If you want to be a crime-fighting detective who dresses up like a bat, then it's time to get chowing down and start the day with a bowl of Batman Returns. Mmm, mmm, yeah, look at that Batman Returns goodness. I also love how one of the serial pieces is modelled after the shape of a top hat. Get it? Because the penguin wore a top hat? So yeah, instant serial top hat goodness. Also, I love the artwork going on here. It looks awesome. It actually looks like a comic book. But is it just me, or is there an awful lot of pink going on on this box? Oh well, regardless, if you were a kid in 1992 and was a fan of Batman Returns, no doubt this would have been served on your dining table. Number 5. Pac-Man This choice is... Uh, interesting. I mean, I never in a million years would have thought that Pac-Man could be converted into a cereal. I mean, it's just about a big round head eating dots. But hell, some marketing executive obviously thought there was potential to convert Pac-Man into cereal format, and hence we got Pac-Man the cereal. Now, you don't just have to play the game, but you can eat it. And if the idea of this cereal couldn't get any weirder, the adverts for this cereal also featured this really weird rap. Now Batman isn't just a game you play, it's a crispy corn cereal that's coming your way. Yeah, I'm sure Tupac was shitting himself when he heard these beautifully crafted rap lyrics of pure genius. But jokes aside, at least the cereal actually looked like what you would expect it to. You know, Pac-Man characters. So that's pretty cool. And to top it off, the cereal came with a free hat. For all those deformed kids with square heads. That is offensive to people who have square heads! Number 4. Doctor Who and Star Trek Crispy Smacks Yeah, I've put these two in the same category as they are the same serial, only one features Doctor Who and the other features Star Trek. Both designs are similar and both offer a free badge. Both the serial boxes feature hand-drawn artwork. On the Star Trek one we have Spock, who really looks like he's ready to kick some ass. Which makes me feel very motivated for breakfast, I don't mind saying. Whereas the Doctor Who one features the third Doctor, who honestly looks drunk. It's like the Doctor couldn't reverse the polarity of the alcoholic flow of the beer tap at the pub. Oh, well, having reached that brilliant conclusion, how about getting on with it? The Doctor Who one also has this strange psychedelic background, which makes me wonder if these crispy smacks are coated with LSD. I love how it says the timeless energy of Doctor Who, 
And by timeless energy, I'm sure they're not referring to the first Doctor, William Hartnell, who had to sit down every five minutes from being too tired. Now, come on now, don't get angry. If you don't believe me, just watch some of the first episodes of The First Doctor. He constantly has to sit down and rest. The Star Trek one also had interesting flaws. I love how it's got Spock written on Spock. You know, like they really needed to point that out. Most illogical reaction. And curiously, at the top of the box, it says Star Trek Mission 271. So is this serial the mission? I must have missed the episode where Captain Kirk ordered the attendance of the US Enterprise to have breakfast. Number three, Gremlins Sweetened Cereal. <laughs> I love Gizmo's face on this box. He's like, hell yeah, give me some of them cereals. Swing them my way. Whatever he is looking at here, it's really got him entranced. I suppose it makes sense to focus on Gizmo with the cereal, as I'm guessing kids probably wouldn't have wanted to get this cereal if it featured that gremlin getting splattered in the microwave. But oh boy, does whoever designed this box have a thing for orange. So much orange! Orange everywhere! Seriously, why all the orange? The cereal itself consists of tiny little gizmos. But that's nothing compared to the weird advert which featured this weird animatronic gizmo which is trying to eat the cereal but just isn't able to. Seriously, would it have been that hard to use the actual gizmo prop from the movie? Also, we see people with weird gremlin ears. Ugh. Uh, what? Why? Seriously, why? How can something look so creepy and so stupid at the same time? Okay guys, enough of the gremlin ears. Ugh. Number two, Pirates of the Caribbean. So what does pirates and breakfast have in common? Not a damn thing. Nope. There is absolutely no connection whatsoever to pirates and early morning breakfast cereal. But that didn't stop Kellogg's from jumping on the Pirates of the Caribbean bandwagon of success and releasing out its own brand of Pirates of the Caribbean cereal. And what does Pirates of the Caribbean cereal look like you ask? Well, exactly like what you would expect it to. Like turds. Seriously, does this look appetizing to you? Still. Johnny Depp starring on this box is still a better performance than that time he starred as Willy Wonka. Not that I have a problem with Jack Sparrows or anything. Ugh. Yes? You said Sparrows! It's Sparrow, you idiot! There is no S! Why are you doing this to me? I can't cope! And I hate you! Why won't you just die? Okay, fine then. It's Sparrow. There's no S. The S has gone. Now can you get over it now? After all, it's really not that important. Not that important?! How dare you! Why did you put an S at the end of his name?! Why?! My wife and kids have left me, and it's all your fault! I demand that you and your horrible voice just stop making videos! Just shut up and stop! Well, you know what guys? I think he's kind of got a point. Maybe it's time to stop making videos so I can focus on what I've always wanted to be. An LA lawyer who always knew that he could be the best that he could be. All he needed was just someone who believed in him. Number one, Nintendo Serial System. Hey kids, if your family were too poor and couldn't afford a Nintendo Entertainment System, don't worry, Rolston has you covered, as you can now get the Nintendo Serial System instead. 
Okay, this cereal just baffles me. Like Pac-Man, I just can't see the rhyme and reason behind basing cereal off a video game. Or in this case, a video game system. The cereal came out with two flavours in each box. Super Mario Fruity and Zelda Berry. So at least the cereal had that distinct novelty. But what I just can't get past with with the cereal is the awful art on the box. Seriously, look at this. It honestly looks like a little kid's drawing. Poor Mario has definitely seen better days. And Link seems to be engaging in some weird dance move. I mean, come on, Nintendo. You can do better than this. The cereal came with some Nintendo stickers. And we can only hope that the artwork on the stickers are better than the artwork on the box. Well guys, that was my look into weird serial themes. I hope you enjoyed this wacky and pointless yet still entertaining look into the weird anomaly that is movie themed serials. Anyway, I'm Minty and I'm off on a Star Trek mission to eat some cereal. See ya! Hey guys, just one quick word. You might have noticed that throughout this video I've been wearing this awesome funky t-shirt. This t-shirt comes from the company Nerd World Order. Which is here to serve you with all your nerdgastic needs. From games to comics to cosplays. And they have many more awesome t-shirts. So if you're interested in checking out Nerd World Order, I'm going to put a link to their website and Facebook page down below. Thank you Nerd World Order for sponsoring this episode.